The following presentation is available in 4K. In today's video, we'll check out the CyberPower PC Gamer Extreme VR Gaming PC that I recently picked up primarily for OTG Virtual Pinball on the Legends Pinball 4K P. In this video, we'll unbox it, check out its features, run some benchmark tests, briefly discuss the setup, and show some gameplay examples in Pinball FX and Pinball M. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. My reason for picking up this machine was primarily focused on virtual pinball connected over OTG to the new At Games Legends Pinball 4K P. The gameplay example shown in this video will be focused on that use case. I should also note there are cheaper options that may work out well for virtual pinball and I'll place a link in the description below to community feedback others have shared that may work out just as good for you. Some of those folks purchased pre-built machines while others built their own PC. If you decide to build your own, I'd highly recommend checking out videos from Ultimate Tech Hub. Mike has some excellent tutorials on building your own machine, quality video productions, and very thorough explanations. You may be wondering why I went the pre-built route. Well, a good bit of that has to do with the time it takes to order all the components, put everything together, updating the drivers, and getting things running smoothly. It can be a bit time consuming, and when I priced out the various components, the CyberPower PC had the specs I was looking for at a reasonable price and with a one year parts and labor warranty. This case is a height Y60 and obviously quite large. Here it is compared to my Dell G5 gaming PC I picked up about three years ago and have been using it ever since with the Legends Pinball HD. At the time, I paid around $1,400 for that machine. The box includes some basic starter information, a power cord, a rather nice optical RGB gaming mouse and keyboard. The only real assembly is just screwing in the two antenna for the Wi-Fi. Each section of the case is held together by a single screw and easy to get into. On the front corner, there is a headphone jack, two USB Type-A ports, a USB-C port, and a power button. At the back, there are USB 3 and USB 2 ports, a USB-C port, a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, and a number of audio connections. Moving down to the RTX 4070, there is one HDMI port that I used for the playfield, a total of three display ports, two of which I used for the back glass and DMD with a display port to HDMI adapter. Now let's take a look at some of the specs of this machine. The CPU is an Intel Core i9-13900KF operating at 3 GHz and up to 5.8 GHz and 24 cores with 8 performance cores and 16 efficient cores. The GPU is an NVIDIA RTX 4070 with 12 GB it has 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Storage is one terabyte Gen 4 NVMe SSD. There are a number of ports. Some of the main ones are one HDMI, three display ports, six USB 3.1 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, and two USB-C ports. After removing the back panel, there is easy access for adding additional drives to the machine and all the needed cables are pre-installed for you. There are two drive bays which should make adding additional storage very easy and something I plan to do at some point. The installed RAM is Team Group T4 16GB DDR5 at 6000MHz and here's a close-up for reference. There are four slots for RAM expansion, the liquid-cooled Intel Core i9 CPU, and below that the RTX 4070 graphics card. At this point, the machine has been up and running for over a week, so there is a little bit of dust. There are two large fans to cool the GPU, and here's a look between the graphics card and the motherboard. There are six large RGB fans that are clearly visible when powered on through the three tempered glass sections. I'll plug in the keyboard and power it up so you can get a good look at the fans. All are software controlled, 
and there are a number of settings that you can apply to change the colors and lighting effects to suit your preference. The fans are very quiet. Let's listen. Before we look at some virtual pinball gameplay examples, let's take a quick look at some of the benchmark results for this machine. Geekbench 6.2.2 indicated the single core score was 2,859 and the multi-core score was 16,121. 3D Mark reported a score of 17,422 with the RTX 4070 and reported better than 85% of all results. PC Mark 10 is a more comprehensive test and reported 9,358 and ranked better than 99% of all results. Based on what we've seen here, I'm very pleased with this purchase. I'll connect all three displays using HDMI and DisplayPort to HDMI adapters. And I'll quickly show you how the three displays are set up in Windows. We'll have a separate detailed video soon that covers the setup from beginning to end. As the At Games Legends Pinball 4KP supports 4K resolution for the playfield, that is how it's going to be configured here. Simply right click on the desktop and select Display Settings. Here I have all three displays arranged, the playfield on the far left, the back glass in the middle, and the DMD on the far right. The playfield is set as the main display, the scale should be set to 100%, the display resolution at 3840 by 2160, and the orientation set for landscape. Under Related Settings, select Advanced Display and make sure it's set for 60Hz, which is the refresh rate of the 4KP playfield. Make sure all three displays are perfectly aligned at the top, and remember it's the order of the displays from left to right that matters and not the numbers that you see for each display. Both the back glass and the DMD will be set identically. Those settings are Scale is 100%, Display Resolution 1920 by 1080 and the Orientation set for Landscape. Under Advanced Display, again, make sure that the refresh rate is set for 60Hz. Windows will default both to 30Hz, which will impact your performance. And again, the DMD display on the far right should be set identically to the back glass display. We'll jump into some gameplay examples of Zen Studios Pinball FX playing over OTG through the Legends Pinball 4KP. That is, everything you see here is running off the CyberPower PC Gamer Extreme. The 4K Playfield display on the 4KP looks absolutely stunning. Here I have ray tracing enabled, and you can see all the lights and shadows, and it looks very impressive. I'll place a link above to a written guide that will describe how everything was set up. Now, on to some gameplay.
try harder next time. Look, a favor card. <laughs> Oopsie. Try not to explode, buddy. Next, we'll take a look at a handful of tables from Zen Studio's Pinball M, which is the more mature version of what we just saw. Then we'll wrap up this video. <laughs> Payback time. Damn. That brings us to the end of another video. I'm very pleased with the performance that I'm getting with the CyberPower PC Gamer Extreme VR Gaming PC. The output to the three displays looks stunning and plays very well, even with ray tracing enabled. One thing I've noticed with the CyberPower PC Store is that these machines are selling very well and stock may vary daily. Also, definitely check out the reviews. Around 93% of those responding rated it very high. If pinball isn't your thing, no worries. It can play pretty much any game you can throw at it. If you'd like to see additional games played on this machine, comment below and let me know what you'd like to see. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by clicking the like button. And if you want to see more detailed videos on how to set up your PC to the Legends Pinball 4KP, they're coming, and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.